We would now like to start uh, the uh, presentation of the consolidated financial results for the third quarter ended December 31st, 2014 for Hitachi Limited. I would like to uh, introduce uh, the speakers, uh, Toyoaki Nakamura, Executive Vice President and Executive Officer and CFO, uh, Mitsuyoshi Toyoshima, uh, General Manager of the uh, Financial Strategy Division, and Ken Mizoguchi, Executive uh, uh, General Manager of the Corporate Brand uh, Communications Division. Mr. Nakamura, please. And please refer to the material that has been handed to you, and uh, please refer to the slides. Uh, I would like to start uh, with page four. Now, uh, these are the highlights uh, for the third quarter. Uh, the revenues were uh, 2 trillion 321.2 billion yen, up 1% uh, year on year. Operating income was 108.1 billion yen. Uh, down 11 percent, EBIT 150.4 billion yen, down 11 percent. As a result, uh, net income for the quarter was 83.3 billion yen, down 12 percent. The uh, uh, stockholders' equity ratio for manufacturing services and others was 26.9 percent. In the third quarter, uh, the Walpaka acquisition by Hitachi Metals took place. And uh, that is the reason why it is down by 0 0.5 uh, percentage point. For core free cash flow is negative 79.4 billion yen. Uh, this is when a bonus payment uh, is made. Uh, therefore, third quarter was uh, red ink. Uh, but uh, it increased uh, uh, by 53.8 billion yen year on year. Now, uh, let's look at the highlights uh, for the three quarters. On page five, uh, revenues was uh, 6 trillion 818 billion yen, up 1% year on year. Uh, operating income was 322.1 billion yen, up 9%. Uh, EBIT uh, was 367.8 billion yen, up 18%. As a result, uh, net income was 174.9 billion yen, up 37%. Uh, core free cash flows uh, was negative 41.9 billion yen, uh, increased by 84.9 billion yen year on year, which is an improvement. Uh, let's move on to P7. Uh, this is the, uh, the waterfall chart uh, for factors for changes in the operating income for the three months. Uh, there is uh, the thermal power uh, reorganization, uh, Maxell uh, becoming the method company, uh, having an impact uh, of uh, business reorganization. Uh, there was a low where sales prices, investment in uh, business development, increase of uh, labor costs and depreciation, deterioration of uh, power and uh, telecommunication. Uh, there was a, a lack of uh, capacity utilization, uh, but uh, uh, this has been offset by exchange gain as well as uh, uh, higher capacity utilization and others uh, leading to 1.8.1 billion yen. Now, uh, minus 11 billion uh, uh, for the uh, thermal power and uh, uh, Maxell uh, has uh, been uh, offset by 23 billion and uh, as a result uh, of uh, this, this is 23 billion because of uh, uh, the um, the cost reduction as well as the price improvement uh, and uh, leading to 11 million uh, so uh, the personal cost uh, w should have been uh, offset uh, by uh, the capacity utilization but uh, this was smaller uh, than uh, previously so that's 14 billion and uh, uh, that is the reason why it has a, having an impact of 13.8 billion yen. Now, a place of the lower, which is for the nine months, uh, uh, impact of the business uh, reorganization, 21 billion. Um, the uh, smart transformation project is 71 billion. And uh, uh, after investment, uh, business development of 44 billion. And the personal cost. Uh, has been uh, improved by capacity utilization, 6 billion, uh, leading to 26.7 billion yen for, uh, the, as a result. Now, uh, moving on to uh, the net income uh, situation. Uh, please refer to 1-8. Uh, this is for the three months, uh, bottom line. 
uh, from 94.5 billion to 83.3 billion, which is negative 11.1 uh, billion yen. Uh, this is a result of business uh, reorganization, 11 billion. Uh, this has remained as is. And uh, operating income uh, should have improved uh, further uh, because of uh, capacity utilization. If that were the case, uh, it would have been better. However, uh, that was not the case. On a nine-month uh, basis, please refer to the uh, 1-9, uh, the thermal power as well as maxes. Uh, the impact of business reorganization was minus uh, 21 billion. Uh, but uh, we have been able to increase operating income by 47.7 million. Uh, improvement uh, uh, in net other incomes of 27.5 billion. And there was also uh, the uh, uh, capacity utilization improvement as well, uh, resulting in 47.6 billion uh, year on year. Uh, the next page uh, is revenues by uh, market. For nine months, uh, on the right hand side, should be referred to for Japan was three trillion four hundred and ninety three point seven billion, uh, ninety eight uh, percent year over year, uh, two percentage point. Uh, uh, deterioration uh, was recorded. Outside Japan, at uh, three trillion two hundred twenty four point two billion forty seven percent, and uh, Asia and China is increasing. Uh, North America increased as well. However, for other areas. Uh, because of the thermal power uh, reorganization, uh, the impact uh, uh, led to 85 percent. Uh, total was 101 uh, percent. Now, uh, because of uh, the foreign exchange as well as Maxell and uh, thermal power part, uh, business integration uh, will be uh, given as well. Uh, if we uh, take these out uh, for Japan, it would be 101 percent, 107 percent for outside Japan, and 104 percent for other areas. Uh, therefore, it, it is an increase for all areas. Uh, total is 104 percent. Now. Uh, Let's look at 1-11, which is uh, the uh, the breakdown between manufacturing uh, service and others uh, and financial service. And uh, for the revenues, it was six trillion six hundred forty-six point one billion, and operating income two hundred ninety-four point seven billion for manufacturing service and others. And uh, for the nine months, you can see that the revenues and earnings have increased. Now uh, the balance sheet will be explained. Uh, please refer to page sixteen. This is the summary balance sheet. Details are not, not given, but uh, in terms of manufacturing service and others, uh, we have uh, toppled the 10 trillion mark. And this is because of the weak yen, as well as uh, uh, mark to market uh, evaluation uh, impact uh, uh, is shown as well. So uh, this is an increase of 932.6 uh, billion. Uh, just with adjusted basis is 622 billion yen. In terms of uh, trade receivables as inventories, uh, you know, there was an increase by 277.9 billion. Uh, in terms of uh, uh, cash uh, and others, it has increased uh, by the tune of 100 billion. Toward the end of uh, the year, uh, end of fiscal year, trade receivables and inventories will decrease. Uh, but uh, uh, in terms of cash, uh, this is because of China and uh, others at the end of the year. Uh, this uh, will also in decrease as well. Now, uh, in uh, the cash conversion cycle is 84.3 days. Now, this is uh, too high. And uh, we will aim for 76 days for the cash conversion cycle. Uh, the stockholders' equity ratio was 26.9%, uh, and the E ratio 0 0.47 times. Uh, this is because of the impact of the acquisition of Abaka, uh, which is included in the 0 0.07 point uh, increase. Uh, but uh, we have to manage the, uh, the D ratio within 0 0.5 times. Uh, for the financial services, uh, D ratio uh, is 6.06 uh, uh, times. Inclusive of the off-balance sheet items, uh, this, uh, it this has been uh, managed. And uh, the number is 7.17 uh, times. And we would like to manage this uh, uh, below 7.5 times to maintain our A rating uh, by increasing the profitability as well. And uh, that is how we will proceed. Uh, cash flows, uh, please refer to page 17. Uh, this is the manufacturing uh, service and others uh, in the middle table. Uh, the cash flows from operating activities, 274.4. Uh, 
and uh, uh, that is improvement of uh, 61.4 billion yen a uh, year on year. And the uh, core free cash flow uh, is uh, minus 41.9 billion. But uh, this is an increase uh, of 84.9 billion euro over year. Uh, for December, bonus uh, was paid. Uh, therefore, uh, domestically, a 200 billion uh, bonus payment was made. And uh, in the fourth quarter, uh, this uh, will uh, revert back to black ink. Now, for financial services, uh, cash flow from operating activities, uh, minus uh, 75.2 billion. Uh, this is uh, uh, because uh, uh, the uh, receivers, uh, receivables are increasing uh, because of the UK business. However, although this is increasing, uh, this will be managed uh, within the DER of uh, 7.5. Now, uh, in terms of capital expenditures, uh, depreciation expenditures, uh, capital expenditure for manufacturing services and others was 256.5 billion yen, uh, which is 90% uh, year over year. Maxo uh, thermal power, uh, if the impact was not there, was 94% uh, uh, depreciation for manufacturing services, 198.6, 12%. But uh, in the absence of the special factors, it would have been 106%. Uh, now, uh, going f capital expenditures uh, have started to be uh, uh, suppressed for manufacturing service and others. R&D expenditures, 244.6 billion, 94%. But the in, in the absence of the thermal power uh, business, uh, it would have been flat. Now, moving on to page 21 and 22, uh, segment information will be provided. Uh, please refer to the third quarter uh, accumulated numbers on the right-hand side. Now, uh, compared to previous year, uh, we had uh, a revenue decline for power systems. Uh, this is because of the thermal power reorganization. And uh, down below, uh, others. Uh, Maxel uh, IPO becoming equity method company has had an impact here. Uh, in terms of operating profit, uh, where we had negative, were uh, in the segments power system. And because of China, uh, my nose shovel, shovel uh, um, impact uh, uh, in the construction machinery. Uh, now uh, I would like to uh, go to page 24. First of all, starting with the business environment in the U.S., supported by the recovering consumer spending and housing investment, the economic recovery seems to be accelerating. However, in Europe, there is geopolitical risks and financial uncertainty, mainly in southern European countries. In China, the economic growth is decelerating. And with that, Southeast Asia is also stagnating. And therefore, overall, on a global basis, we are starting to see a trend of the economic slowdown. However, uh, the yen is depreciating. So as you see on the full year basis forecast, fourth quarter is 115 yen to a dollar, including the overseas production. Our uh, revenue, 9 trillion, 600 billion. Operating income, 580 billion. EB, 540 billion. And net income, 250 billion. So no change. So as you can see in this table, 2013, Bottom line is 264.9 billion yen. So we want to exceed that at least. So we will do our very best for the remaining three months to make an improvement. Next is by segment information on page 27 and 28, the forecast. In the far right, previous forecast comparison. Revenue was revised downward on uh, social infrastructure and industrial systems. Infrastructure segment revenue declined. And this is because the oil and gas and the Middle East and Asia uh, contract is uh, being postponed, is not being closed. And therefore, the revenues are slipped or gone in some areas. Now, on the operating income basis, the downward revision is 
the information telecommunication systems and the social infrastructure and industrial systems. For in information and telecommunication systems, uh, the domestic carriers' investment is being suppressed, and that is having an impact on the operating uh, capacity utilization. So we incorporated that. And for the social infrastructure and industrial systems, the factors that I mentioned earlier have an impact, and therefore we uh, made a downward revision. And uh, the increase is in the electronic systems and equipment and uh, financial services. And the other two, corporate items and elimination, uh, the risk is uh, gone, cleared now. Next is the development of social innovation business for the next stage of growth. Please turn to page 30. First is the acceleration of global management. Establishment of global structure for the social innovation business with a goal of increasing the ratio of overseas sales to more than 50 percent. As you see in your handout, we are moving forward. Specifically, we are dividing global markets into four regions, and we're uh, uh, assigning four chief executives, including the appointment of two new chief executives. And we are transforming to an autonomous de decentralizing global management structure where each region leads its business autonomously. And the chief executives will be responsible for investments, return on investment, and regional profit and loss for the social innovation business. And with, with that, we will adapt the International Financial Reporting Standards, IFRS, for the Hitachi Group beginning fiscal year 2015 so that we can correspond to the globalization and unify uh, the evaluation criteria for financial results throughout the Hitachi Group. Next is page 31 progress on the two 2015 midterm management plan and the evolution of the social innovation business. Let me give you some case examples. In information and telecommunication systems segment, we strengthened the production structure by reorganizing the manufacturing basis in Japan, and we accelerated the global business expansion through uh, the strengthening the solution services business foothold in Asia. And accelerating cost reduction measures and optimization of personnel placement and promoting organizational reform to reinforce the potential, potential IoT-related business in the telecommunications and network system business. In social infrastructure and industrial systems segment, we established a new train depot maintenance facility and modified the existing ones in the UK and accelerating the optimization of business portfolio. And given the market changes, we are screening for overseas projects and further strengthening project management in the infrastructure system company. In the high functional materials and components segment, Hitachi Metals acquired Waupaka Foundry to strengthen the global production and sales system. And the Hitachi Chemical is expanding the energy storage business and enhanced global development through uh, the uh, by making the CASB a wholly owned subsidiary. In the automotive system segment, we are strengthening and expanding global development, production, and sales system based on the regional headquarters in the Americas, Europe, Asia, and China. In smart life and eco-friendly system segment, we aim to increase global competitiveness capabilities in the air conditioning system business by establishing a joint venture with Johnson Controls, GCI. And lastly, page 34, page 33, a smart transformation project. The cumulative benefit uh, up to the third quarter is 71 billion yen. We are making steady progress to achieve the, uh, the cost reduction target uh, to 100 billion yen up from 90 billion yen. Now, main initiatives in progress up to the third quarter. We transferred the administrative financial and accounting operations in Japan to GenPact with BPO from November and partial BPO of overseas HR operations from April this year onward. And uh, we are sharing the logistics IT platform and starting the concentrating transport-related operations and shared transportation through links between businesses. We are streamlining, streamlining linked operation with Hitachi High Tech, Hitachi Capital, and Hitachi Transport System, and started global procurement scheme utilizing each company's functions. That's all. Thank you. I would like to move on to the Q&A. Uh, please wait for the microphone to be brought to you, and uh, state your name and affiliation before asking your question.
uh, question. I have two questions. The first question uh, is uh, the, the normal question that I'm providing for the operating profit of uh, the third uh, quarter, uh, the internal uh, target uh, and uh, the uh, the actual result, uh, the changes uh, uh, is what I would like to ask about. Actually, we were expect and so we were expecting more in terms of internal target. Um, we had an upside of $7 billion. However, unfortunately, because of capacity utilization, third quarter, uh, I said that uh, there's a plus uh, $8 billion. Uh, but, uh, in fact, uh, we had expectations for further $13 billion. So this is a shortfall. Uh, so $7 billion uh, was the positive number. Uh, please, uh, um, in terms of segment, uh, since it's uh, $7 billion, it uh, is very detailed. Uh, now, uh, in terms of uh, uh, the uh, electronic uh, uh, system, there's about uh, 5 billion. And uh, construction machinery, it was better by 2 billion. And uh, financial services, uh, plus 2 billion. Now, uh, what was not good was uh, the uh, information telecommunication system was minus three billion. Uh, in terms of uh, uh, power system, uh, minus three billion. Now, in the fourth uh, quarter, uh, there was uh, up front loading, uh, front loading of uh, cost. Uh, automotive system in China in December toward the end, uh, the orders were slow for our business, so that's minus three billion. Now, uh, what about the, the social infrastructure? It's one billion plus, uh, positive one billion. Uh, question two. Uh, question. Uh, in terms of uh, uh, the information telecommunication systems, about uh, for the full year forecast for the uh, channel communication uh, downside uh, is that reflected uh, in the uh, full year forecast according to your explanation it seems uh, that the revenue has, as well as uh, earnings have come down so that is how I have understood uh, the reasons about uh, uh, for next year uh, domestic revenues are not expected to increase. S uh, so have you uh, earmarked the restructuring uh, uh, expenses for next year? Well, how should we view profitability for the next year? Answer. Uh, in terms of uh, the uh, information telecommunication, uh, 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 down by $16 billion according to revision. This is for uh, the telecommunications. The LT. E related hardware for carriers has been a very stable product for us. However, the investments have been curtailed, having an impact for us. Next year, uh, we cannot expect increase either. So that has been uh, taken into consideration. And uh, we are now focused on solutions. Uh, we have uh, started this uh, from December of uh, 2013. We have changed the structure. We have been uh, continuing this process. However, on the part of carriers, uh, they were ahead of us, and uh, we were not able to keep up. Uh, that is the reason why a negative number has been incurred by us. Uh, but uh, uh, restructuring will be an ongoing process for us. For IoT, it will be our new focus. This is not just for uh, information. But uh, rather, uh, it will also involve the uh, social infrastructure segment uh, as well. So in it, the products of this area, uh, we would like to uh, embed uh, M2M technologies as well. Uh, we have uh, structures uh, uh, in the in both the um, the information telecommunication as well as social infrastructure industrial systems as well. But we have to also reduce cost at the same time. 
we will do this to a certain level, uh, but it may come emerge uh, next fiscal year rather than this fiscal year. Thank you. Question. I have three questions. First, is in the analysis of the increased decrease of the operating income uh, in the information and telecommunication and power, you said uh, 11 billion negative together. But uh, could you break this down to power system segment and information telecommunication system segment? Power systems, uh, second half, I think your forecast was 10 billion. Is this unchanged? So that's my first question. Answer. Is this about the business restructuring? Breakdown. Uh, power systems, 7 billion, and information telecommunications, minus 4 billion. And power systems, no change. Question. So, fourth quarter, the remaining 3, three billion, and that's it? Answer. Yes, 3 billion. Yes, that's the cost. Yes, you're right. Question. Second question. Regarding the social. Uh, infrastructure and industrial systems. In three quarter, third quarter alone, uh, it is an upside, you said. But on the full year basis, you have made a downward revision. So the oil and gas that you mentioned and the deals that you mentioned, are they completely stopped or are they already decided to be postponed? And that is why you mentioned what you said? Or is it still uncertain and you are being on the safe side, you are just incorporating the risk? Which is the case? Answer. Not decided. But the if the contract is pushed forward, if it is postponed, that we are applying the percentage of construction method. And so if the construction is quicker than we expect, than planned, then the uh, receivable can be posted on the fourth quarter. But if it is postponed, then even if the contract is there, it will not be reflected in this year. So it's not that the contract went down. It is just not included in this fiscal year. Question. In the second half last year, in the social infrastructure and industrial system, there was some loss in the project-related loss. Uh, that is not uh, any. Uh, that is not uh, in this year. Answer. Yes, there are some small ones still, but not like as big as last year. Some contract time lag, postponement, or the customer stopping the development. The oil related, when they do not have the budget, then sometimes they stop the plan. And sometimes a specification change. But we were applying the Japanese uh, uh, method, and uh, we were trying to ask the customers to bear the incremental cost, but the clients said they cannot pay, and so that was incorporated in our forecast. It's not over. We're still negotiating. Question. The social innovation global structure that you mentioned this time, you so you will have a chief executive in the four regions. So the chief executives will have the delegation of authority, right? How will you manage the risk? So for the decision made by the chief executives, how will the headquarter che check? How will you check their decision? Answer. According to the text here, it seems like uh, they will go ahead and spend 100 billion, 200 billion yen on their discretion. But Hitachi Group will never do that. First, Jack. Jack Dome is appointed as the chief executive for the Americas. Hitachi Data Systems, he is also the CEO for Hitachi Data Systems in the U.S. And uh, from the hard company, he has successfully switched to a soft-oriented com uh, company and now changed to cloud and then to big data. The market is changing rapidly. 
It is not just about information from the user's point of view. It may be the manufacturing monozukuri area or the administrative area. So from the market perspective, the technology is, they want to use technology for all purposes. They want to have the technology to be unified and converged. And so under Jack Dome, chief executives, we can uh, facilitate this one Hitachi. So each company, the vertical line and the horizontal regions, how to structure this will have to be decided. This is not unlimited. First, we have to set the policy. So when we set the budget, uh, we will formulate a midterm management plan under which we will run this regional strategy. And each line's budget will also be organized accordingly. So that is how we will move, uh, run this organization. In addition, we have to do a good risk management. So the way we will assign the authority, this has to be decided by March. This time, HR is involved, so uh, we included this earlier. A question. I have uh, three questions. Uh, first question is regarding the third quarter, uh, October to uh, December, uh, regarding profitability. How is uh, foreign exchange uh, uh, impacting this? Uh, I think it, uh, the, ass uh, the assumption was 100, uh, but it is 115. Uh, so what has been the impact uh, of uh, foreign exchange uh, by segment as well? Uh, positives and negative uh, impact uh, uh, is what I'd like to hear about. Answer. Now, from October to December, uh, on an accumulated basis, uh, the impact on operating profit uh, is shown here, is 14 billion. In terms of revenues, uh, impact was 90 billion, um, impact by foreign exchange. Uh, in terms of segments, for the major impacts, uh, for the uh, construction machinery as well as uh, uh, high functional materials have been uh, impacted. In terms of uh, consumption, uh, construction machinery, uh, it's about 5 billion. And for the metals, it's 4 billion. Automotive, uh, uh, 2 billion. These are the major uh, areas that were impacted. Uh, question uh, You mentioned. Uh, that uh, uh, vis a vis the plan, um, the uh, profit uh, was um, had an upside of 7 million. Uh, is that including 14 million? Answer, uh, there's no difference uh, with the previous uh, uh, term. I said 14 billion year on year, but uh, um, against the plan, it's about 15 billion. So uh, the difference is about uh, uh, 1 billion. Uh, question, you said that uh, 100 yen for the second half, uh, so I'm asking about uh, the difference there. Uh, currently, it uh, is a difference of uh, uh, 100 and 115, that's 15 billion. And is the allocation as you have explained? Now, 15% uh, uh, is accounted for by the uh, construction machinery and high functional materials. Uh, question, you said 7 billion uh, upside. Uh, is that uh, including impact of foreign exchange? Uh, answer, yes, it is included. Question, uh, in terms of uh, the four-year uh, plan uh, regarding foreign exchange, uh, you did not change the 580 billion, uh, but fourth quarter changed to 115 yen. So what is going to be the impact of foreign exchange for the full year? Answer. Uh, from October, um, I, we announced the second quarter results on the 29th of October. For the second half, uh, uh, in, uh, foreign exchange impact uh, for s uh, revenue is uh, 175 billion, operating profit uh, 20 billion. Question uh, by segment? Do you have the information by segment? Answer No. Uh, question, you have changed the plan 
for a segment. Uh, I want to know how the foreign exchange is going to have, Im have impact uh, on each of the segments. And so, uh, we are looking at this in uh, the total number. Uh, basically, as the uh, the construction machinery and uh, high functional material um, uh, components that will be uh, impacted significantly. Question for the fourth quarter. Uh, by segment, uh, we have the profit number on a net basis. Uh, but uh, what about on a year on year basis by segment? Uh, please uh, uh, elaborate. Uh, for example, 10 billion increase uh, in terms of uh, uh, information and telecommunications. And so, year on year basis. Uh, uh, in terms of uh, information telecommunications, it's 67.1 billion. And that's increased by 8.6 billion year on year. Uh, power systems. It's, it's 19.1 billion, uh, so plus uh, 8.7 billion. Uh, social infrastructure, uh, so 56.2 billion, so plus uh, 9.7 billion. And what are the factors uh, are driving this increase? Now, in terms of uh, information tel and uh, telecommunication, down toward the end of a fiscal year, there will be uh, a concentration of uh, sales recorded. Uh, public system, uh, public as well as systems, financial systems uh, are driving uh, the growth uh, in terms of information telecommunication systems. Now, in terms of social infrastructure, uh, there will be increase in revenues, and uh, there will be an uh, increase uh, in terms of uh, sales recorded for the urban development business. Uh, also, the weak yen uh, is having an impact in this area. Question. Uh, what about uh, the electronic systems and equipment? Answer, uh, we are being conservative for this segment. Uh, operating profit uh, decrease uh, is expected. Uh, last year, for high tech, as well as uh, uh, in, uh, Koksai Electric, has had an impact. Uh, but uh, for this year, uh, third quarter uh, concentration was seen. But I think there will be more in the fourth quarter as well. Uh, but uh, uh, last year, uh, there was uh, significant uh, uh, sales in third quarter and fourth quarter. So that is the difference uh, we are seeing this year. Question. I have three questions. First is similar to the previous question. Third quarter vis-a-vis -vis plan, uh, the foreign exchange impact is 15 billion positive. So 7 billion, meaning excluding foreign exchange, it is a, a downside, decrease. Up to the first quarter, uh, there was a momentum, but uh, maybe we had too much expectation for the third quarter, but it seems like it is uh, lower than my expectation. So overall, in third quarter, and looking into fourth quarter, the, is the business environment becoming more difficult? Or, and in Japan and the oil-related part and in China, including all these factors, my first question is, how is the actual situation right now? So if you could elaborate, please. Answer. In third quarter, the information and telecommunication systems, uh, the carrier hardware sales to the carrier started declining and uh, more decline in the fourth quarter. We did not ex expect this. We did not plan this. We thought it will be higher this year and we thought it will be lower la next year, but we started seeing a decrease this year. This capacity capacityization is lower than we expected. 
Question, is this the largest player? Are you talking about the largest player? Answer, all carriers, uh, they're all saying LTE, no more LTE. Question, uh, answer, because they're all doing, they've all completed it. In other areas, starting with China market, in December, the order started declining. Question, which area? Answer, automotive related, automotive parts. Question, what we often hear is the elevator escalator. Is that OK? Answer, maybe slightly, but it's still OK. Revenue is unchanged. So it's not that elevator escalator is negative, no. Small, small and medium-sized developers uh, may be having more difficulty financially, but the large ones are still OK, financially stable. In Middle East, an oil-related area. Uh, the customers are starting to spend less. Question. So in Japan, um, other than the big drop in information and telecommunication, nothing else? Answer. In the uh, smart life and eco-friendly system, we see a decline in Japan. However, overseas, the air conditioner related business is growing. So overall, the smart life and eco-friendly system revenue is increasing. It's not like information and telecommunication system. Information, telecommunication, uh, we don't do much overseas business, so the domestic decline has a big impact. Now, question. Uh, let me talk about some businesses that I am looking at. I understand the information telecommunication part, but SI and outsourcing, the private demand and the public demand. How is it? And the uh, and the uh, missed uh, missed deals. How are the things? And if we subtract four quarter, it is one, nineteen point one billion. So unless you have a big jump in the operating profit, it doesn't seem like you can achieve the full year forecast. Is this okay? Are you on schedule? And in the automotive system, the oil uh, is leading to 100 billion increase, and you have already uh, used up the buffer for the uh, elimination, corporate elimination. If you could elaborate on those segments that I'm looking at. Answer. In power systems, what we are expecting in third quarter is new energy, but this is now pushed to fourth quarter. And because of that, in the, comparing the fourth quarter of 2013 and 2014, about 9 billion upside. However, the new energy uh, we will, will be handled within the plan. A feed-in tariff doesn't seem look good. Are you okay? Next year, n n not good, but we will do hard this year. And another is the nuclear power plant related. This is the contract with the customers. Originally, we were to get the contract in the third quarter, but this is postponed. So those two factors. So from third quarter to fourth quarter. And what about the ITSG? information and telecommunications. Answer. Uh, there is no uh, lost uh, contract. I'm not saying zero, but uh, we do system deals, system development. It cannot be all profitable. I have not, never had uh, a case where everything is profitable. But it will not be like last year or the year before that. Uh, this information part is big. Question, looking at Fujitsu and NEC, it's not bad. But after the XP special demand, including hardware, uh, this is the demerit disadvantage of weak yen. It's very difficult. What about your case? Are you experiencing the same thing in SI? 
including hardware. Answer. In SI, in system development, the large financial institutions or the public, uh, yes, we do have that. But in industrial, there is a trend for cloud. It is coming very quickly. And so the fixed asset is increasing. We have to develop software, so fixed asset is increasing. So top line, uh, this hard, the growth of the hard is not as strong as before. Question, last question is you are introducing IFRS. In your case, you're U.S. GAAP, so the goodwill is a minimal impact, but uh, the underfunding about uh, tens of billions, maybe 50 billion yen. Uh, answer, 60 billion last year. However, the pension investment management is now becoming positive. So we are now gaining gain. We are enjoying gain in investment. Last year, 85 billion yen positive in the, our investment. And this was amortized in 10 years. So a big negative in the past is now declining. And this year, we will again enjoy some gain. So this will again uh, be positive. So it's not that we can add a big amount. So maybe tens of billions of yen? Tens of billions of yen? In our case, the disposal of the fixed asset and the uh, restructuring, like Hitachi Chemical did, uh, 13 billion. And I cannot say this out loud, but these negatives will also be done. Operating profit or EBIT will not increase significantly from that. Question, this time the tax rate will go down, but in your case, during Lehman crisis, you dropped, so minimal impact? Answer, uh, un um, embarrassingly, no. Uh, question. Uh, I have uh, three questions regarding reorganization. Uh, last uh, uh, year, ABB um, uh, partnership uh, was also uh, announced. Uh, going forward, uh, uh, because of the other party, uh, global cooperation, uh, I believe, is expected. Please elaborate. Uh, second question is regarding cloud-related uh, matters. Hitachi Data Storage, uh, the storage uh, division uh, is uh, assuming uh, a mega cloud. So parts uh, will be recorded, uh, but system could be developed on their own. And therefore, EMC, your competitor, uh, is uh, thinking about uh, what to do with VMware. So I believe that the uh, environment is changing. And uh, against this backdrop, uh, what uh, is the positioning of uh, HDS? Uh, please elaborate. A third question is regarding SPE. Uh, semiconductor uh, and production equipment, uh, um, Tokyo Electron applied deal um, is subject to uncertainty. And therefore, against this backdrop, uh, what is your view for your subsidiary? And uh, for the SPE uh, business overall, uh, what is your uh, view? Now, answer regarding uh, the uh, partnership with the ABB. No, uh, the uh, direct uh, uh, power uh, uh, transmission and uh, distribution, uh, this is what uh, we will be working on. No, we would be happy to work uh, with the companies uh, where uh, we can. So this is something that uh, we will be contemplating. Uh, we are now working with ABB. Uh, there could be other opportunities as well. But uh, it isn't as if uh, um, anything specific. 
uh, is being pursued at the moment. The other party uh, is uh, um, having a significant profit on their own, so we are, will work in partnership. For Mitsubishi Hitachi, uh, what is the impact there? Uh, MHP and NHPS. Now, answer. Uh, I don't think there is going to be comp uh, a competition between ABB and uh, MHPS. Now, uh, regarding cloud, uh, you're saying that uh, HDS uh, will be impacted uh, negatively. And in the case of Amazon, uh, they will have their own storage uh, and uh, uh, procuring their parts as well. Now, going forward, I believe that uh, the, the platform or foundation will have to be established. And uh, on top of that, uh, there'll be um, various uh, uh, applications, uh, big data solutions uh, can be provided uh, based on uh, this foundation. I think the market uh, will make a transition in this way. So it's not uh, just the selling of uh, hardware, but rather the foundation or the platform must be established and the utilization thereof uh, will lead to uh, generating uh, revenue and profits. This is a new business model. Uh, within uh, the uh, Hitachi group, uh, we are pursuing uh, this focus as well. And uh, HDS uh, will play a central role, especially in North America. Therefore, um, if anything, uh, I believe that uh, we can leverage HDS uh, to expand our business, although the, the substance will change. Uh, question regarding third quarter um, for information telecommunications. I believe that a uh, new product is going to be introduced uh, by HDS. Uh, but it seems that uh, so what is going to be the impact there? Uh, answer uh, the revenue will be flat uh, um, uh, because on be yen basis uh, it uh, is flat. It is increasing, but uh, in terms of uh, foreign currency basis, it uh, is flat. Uh, for the storage or in terms of hardware, even when it is flat, uh, our market share is increasing. Therefore, uh, good efforts are being made by HDS, but this is not enough. On our part, in the mid-range, uh, we have to do more. In the near future, we have to uh, introduce something new. That is an imperative for us. However, uh, we do have storage, and utilizing storage Uh, data can be processed uh, through data mining, and uh, the result of the an analysis uh, can be provided to customers uh, by way of a solution. There is numerical data as well as uh, video content uh, as well, image content uh, as well. This will be subject to big data analysis, and by industry, uh, proposals uh, can be made. We are doing our utmost to develop software to enable us to do so. Now, regarding uh, SPE, now, uh, Emma, uh, for the um, uh, Tokyo Tel and uh, for uh, Applied, uh, it seems that uh, they're finding it very difficult to close. I understand the, or the deadline is 24th of uh, March. I don't know what is going to happen there. It could be extended further. So, and then, uh, against this backdrop, uh, what is Hitachi prepared to do? Uh, if uh, something um, emerges, uh, we will come back to provide the information to you. So what I'd like to emphasize is that it is very difficult in this area uh, because uh, it is, the business is becoming oligopolistic and uh, it is not uh, um, a measure for bailout, uh, but uh, for for two strong players to work together will mean that uh, uh, the number of uh, players uh, will decrease, uh, which is making it very difficult. Uh, question, uh, the SPA market, uh, there is only three uh, major customers. And when we think about the technologies, I believe that suppliers should be included as well. And on the part of Hitachi Group, uh, there is two. And uh, domestic uh, consolidation may take place uh, if uh, the aforementioned deal does not uh, uh, emerge. Answer, that is one way of thinking about this industry. However, it is difficult. Uh, 
because if we work with a weak layer, then it uh, will have a detrimental impact on that the company. So this industry is very difficult. Uh, we have to think very hard uh, about uh, the way forward for this industry. Question. I have an overall question. Global procurement, Hitachi High Technology, Hitachi Capital uh, will be utilized. I understand that very well. But their mission is uh, to contribute to Hitachi Group and and to work hard within their own areas. So how is this emphasis uh, be, be divided? Answer. We are n if we just ask them to do this for Hitachi, then there will be no point in them being public. So that is not our point. That is not our intention. For example, Hitachi High Technologies procurement, uh, their commercial department is utilized. And Hitachi's uh, logistic, uh, capability and capitals, financial capability, if we can integrate them, then we can do external sales. So first, we would like to use this mechanism internally and then set this foundation and then start selling externally. So that's what, where we started. So with the Smart Transformation Project, we will work this and then use this for external sales to increase our top line. So that is our order. So Hitachi High Technologies, We'll start thinking of externally, external sales. They are starting to come up with menus now. Question. Another is the uh, smart life and eco-friendly system. Uh, you have a joint venture in the air conditioner with Johnson Controls. B in terms of B2C, it's different, but B2B, B2C included, air conditioning. I understand this very well, but in this development, so this smart life and eco-friendly system is not just B2C. Is that understanding correct? Answer, yes. Yes, in the smart life and eco-friendly system, uh, we will improve the social infrastructure at homes so that women can start working outside. We want to offer such infrastructure. Uh, using infra infrastructure, innovation. So that is going to be B2C. And for JCI, joint venture portion in air conditioning, the building management, building solutions will be related. So this is completely B2B. Right now we're doing uh, the joint venture in air conditioning, but furthermore, we will do more building solutions through Alliance. So we are trying to expand uh, with them on possibly expanding this business Alliance. So in urban development too, in the future, we do uh, deliver for the building related, but yes, we will move in that direction. Uh, we can take one more question. They seem not. Uh, therefore, uh, we would like to bring this meeting to a close. Thank you very much for your participation.